hello people now we will continue to downloading matlab and everything we will downloading from matlabs.com simply search matlab mathworks matlab and you will just redirect it to its web page and once you are redirect to the web page you will see something like this and just this the pop up so first of all click on the get matlab that's on the top menu bar and from there you will be asked to sign in so sign in using the account which you have taken license from or simply the university license or you can see university email from which email the university have taken the license of matlab okay else why if you have your own then you can use your own just enter the password and sign it in you will see matlab online over here and we don't need to do online matlab we will just need to install matlab so we just click on install my matlab at the corner and now it will start downloading matlab so it might take some time because it's a huge software so we'll just click on download window because i have windows and it will just start downloading now we'll be returning back after it's downloaded so here you can see we have downloaded it i will run the administrator i will show you why we allowed to run as administrator i will show you later so first of all it will extract some files into a temporary folder and again then to start installing everything so let's wait for it and here you see it's done now we will be looking forward to installing matlab so at the very beginning you will see something like this and you will be asked again to log in so just log in with everything which we have logged in earlier and just use this present credentials log in with email and password like i already said that's a university mail or the license mail which you have purchased from that's what you need to do it and now you will just need to read this terms and condition if you want to read you can read as why is this don't read and i don't read i prefer you to read once it will show the how to use matlab and now you can see the license over here which your email have when you purchase your email email is allocated with the license that's it and now see here i told you to run it as administrator because if we run it as user then it will install in the users folder but when it's administrator it will restore in c drive in program files so let's go next and it will take some time because it's a heavy software and for now we prefer you guys to use maximum power using matlab if you want to use so now we need to pick the products which we have which we need like if you are using matlab for simple simulations then you can or math problems then you can use matlab and for electricals you can do simulink if you are using actually using simulink then you can go down and you can search for simscape and sdl coder sdl coder is simply just a coder a uh, zero one coders and next you can select the functions which matlab have which will be useful in discrete math or make computation maths Now go to Simscape library and just click everything from the Simscape electrical to everything because it have the electrical component. Like here I am installing Simulink because I need three functions in my Simulink that is AC, DC, and RC. So I will install everything related to it, and I will just take everything if it is okay or not. And I guess it's okay. And something is that is yes RF yes RF is missing. So let me check RF where it is. Yeah, uh, here it is. Uh, yeah, we we got it. Yes, here is the RF. Okay, install the RF kit. Where is the city? And it lacks some warnings because some it there yeah, something that which can't run without its its additional plugins. So we just add those plugins too to be installed. And now it will take take your time to download. And first of all, we need to select the options that we need. Just select add software to desktop. And if you want to send data to MATLAB, you have to data. Then you can give or else you don't give. Now I'll begin starting. Now I will start installing everything. 
and here you just need to confirm that see how many how much space does it need and just begin start and now you it will be downloaded so we'll be returning back once it downloaded so here we are download, downloading and installation complete and here you can see we have installed everything and we'll just now close it and once again we will run MATLAB from our menu or from our desktop we'll just go to star and we'll just type MATLAB and we'll just click on it now here what I need to add is MATLAB is a heavy application so it takes time to load and it has various things just like at the very beginning setup you need to verify its license and you need to like see now again you need to log in so we are logging it again using the same email address and id password which you downloaded it from right it's that you can use anything and whichever license you have but you need to use that that really preferable because that's good and next we will have our passwords so it's just email password and just log it in now once you log it in it can run even offline also online also it will be verified but for this login you need to be connected to the internet without internet it cannot be done so now it will take some time to run open matlab and just we will be waiting for this and it will take time because it's a heavy application and it's maximally used in scientific calculations and math works in heavy computations in data learning and everything that's why that's why it takes time so there is no need to worry about if it's running late because it depends on your ram and your processor how much heavy your processor is and ram is so now you can see we have matlab over here we have installed it and we have we are running it now you can just go to new live script and just click on it to get the script and start working on it that's all